The crazy new Gigafactory upgrade from Tesla stuns the entire industry. The Tesla Gigafactory in Austin, Texas has started accepting customers and orders officially. An increasing number of foreign locales, including Fremont, California, Shanghai, China, and Berlin, Germany, are now included on the list of places where the corporation manufactures its electric vehicles. Elon Musk will deliver the first Model Y vehicles from Giga Texas on April 7th, which are also the first in a new generation of Tesla vehicle architecture that incorporates their in-house developed 4680 battery cell and structural battery pack. The opening party for Cyber Rodeo will be held in conjunction with Musk's delivery of the vehicles. On the exterior, these vehicles may have the appearance of a standard Tesla Model Y, but on the inside, the Texas-made automobiles represent a significant leap ahead in terms of both design and technology. One of the world's largest and most technologically advanced factories makes this feasible. When compared to the lengthy saga of its German counterpart, Tesla's Giga Texas project has progressed at a dizzying rate and promises to be a real game-changer for the company's North American business. Hey folks, welcome back to the future space. In this video, we are going to find out about the opening of the new Gigafactory of Tesla in Texas. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our amazing videos. And let's begin! A factory the size of Texas The breadth of this plant is one quarter of a mile and the length of the central area is three quarters of a mile. If you were to take a lap around the entire facility, it would be close to two miles in distance. The sheer scale of this complex can be tough to wrap one's head around. The factory has a total floor space of around 8 million square feet, which is distributed over its four floors, which together make up its height of approximately seven stories. The diamond-shaped monolith that we see today is really concealed by three separate structures that run parallel to one another along the factory's longitudinal axis. The reason that Tesla did this was to make it possible for covered roadways to run through the interior of the Gigafactory. In this way, they will be able to drive fully loaded tractor trailers throughout the plant in order to make pickups and deliveries directly to the area in which they are required. Giga Berlin is much smaller in comparison to Giga Texas, so this probably doesn't matter as much. Tesla did something similar with the new Gigafactory in Germany. They surrounded the entire perimeter of the building with docking bays for semi-truck trailers to allow for targeted deliveries. However, this still would require internal transportation for supplies to reach the center of the factory floor. The individual known as DJ Ski has provided us with the clearest view we have seen so far of the interior of the plant. I have no idea who he is either, but for some reason, Tesla showed him through the facility and even allowed him to film a video for Instagram that was later shared on the 24th of March. I have no idea why they did this. So the very first thing that comes to our attention is that Tesla has a Model Y dangling from the ceiling at an odd angle, giving the impression that it is ready to collapse into the ground or something. I am also unaware of that particular matter. However, as DJ Ski walks around the factory, we are able to view a large number of Model Y cars and parts in various stages of creation, and it appears that they are all painted either black or blue. Inside the facility, there is a significant amount of undeveloped free space, which is something that we can see with our own eyes. The manufacture of Model Y at Giga Texas is merely the first stage. Production lines for the Tesla Cybertruck and even their enormous electric semi-truck will eventually be added to this facility at some point throughout the course of the next year. In the plant, there will be a complete manufacturing line for the 4680 battery. This battery will be manufactured there. We have not yet seen anything that comes near Elon Musk's lofty idea of an alien dreadnought factory that is capable of producing whole automobiles only through the use of automation. But Giga Texas is the closest thing we have seen so far. In order to make it a reality, we need to have the ability to manufacture every component of the car under the same roof, or at the very least on the same factory grounds. Fremont's Tesla manufacturing facility. They couldn't even fit all of the necessary production equipment for the vehicle body under one roof, so they had to resort to installing the Gigapress machines in the parking lot and putting up giant tents to build the Model 3 and Model Y. Batteries and packs for Fremont vehicles are manufactured in Nevada and shipped over for final assembly in California. California is a very poor example of this concept. It's not even close to being fully automated yet. They did manage to put all of the car manufacturing equipment within the factory so they don't have to create any components outside the parking lot. The Shanghai Gigafactory is a very near approximation to the notion of an autonomous alien dreadnought. And even though they might not have battery production on site, they are extremely near to Tesla's manufacturing partners in China, such as CATL, who produce battery cells for the company. Giga Texas is committed to using renewable energy. 
Observers have already noticed that Tesla intends to spell out the word Tesla across the top of Giga Texas by strategically placing gaps in the panels. This information has been available for some time now, and we have been aware of Tesla's plans to install solar panels on the entire roof of Giga Texas. Something brand new that we have just learned is that Tesla intends to establish a massive battery storage facility close to the plant in order to control the electricity that is generated by those panels. This is something that we just found out. Tesla has proposed in a permit application that it install utility and related improvements on a property that is 53.27 acres and is located at 12601 Tesla Road right adjacent to Giga Texas. This proposal was submitted to the city of Austin. The application was submitted on March 25th and the name of the project, Giga Texas LCRA Permanent Switchyard and BESS, gives some ideas about what those utilities and associated upgrades would be. The application was submitted on March 25th. This term refers to a battery energy storage system, which in this context refers to the Tesla Megapack unit, which has a capacity that is sufficient to cover 53 acres. They are looking into installing a very substantial energy storage system alongside the factory, as Tesla claims that they can deploy one gigawatt hour of storage capacity with a Megapack on just three acres of land. I don't know how to calculate the maximum capacity when you factor in all of the support infrastructure and other stuff that will take up space on site, but needless to say, they are looking at installing a very substantial energy storage system. Made in Texas Model Y As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the Model Y that is being manufactured at Giga Texas features an internal design that is distinct from the Model Y manufactured at Fremont and sent to customers in the US during the previous two years. Die casting technology is being utilized to its greatest potential at Giga Texas, which has an extensive area of the manufacturing floor devoted to Tesla's Giga Press machines. These gargantuan mechanical presses exert a force equal to 6,000 tons and are capable of pressing molten aluminum alloy into molds of various shapes. These casting machines are so strong that they can manufacture the front and rear portions of the car structure using just a single piece of material for each quarter. No other manufacturer of automobiles, and maybe no other manufacturer of any type, has ever been able to incorporate such a huge casting made from a single piece of metal into the design of their product. The use of this technique may be summed up rather succinctly as follows. Rather than trying to construct a large component by welding together a number of smaller ones, Tesla can utilize this injection approach to directly shape liquid metal into the shape of a huge solid component. That's one of the parking lot improvements at the Fremont facility, a Gigapress. Tesla has been doing this effectively with the rear portion of the Model Y frame for almost a year at this point. However, manufacturing at Giga Texas doubles that up by also casting the front part of the vehicle, which means that the entire frame, from the feet of the driver to the front bumper, is made of a single piece of solid aluminum. This contributes to the automobiles being stronger and lighter, as well as more resistant to corrosion and less likely to have production flaws. After that, the most important issue that has to be answered is how many automobiles Giga Texas will be able to manufacture in its very first year of production, 100 or 200,000. And that brings us to the end of the video. Feel free to let us know what you think about this video. And if you like this video, then please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.